Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany. Hi, I'm Winnie. All right, so today we're going to be reading an article called, called "What's Your Excuse?" Mm. Now, this has something to do with being on time. So, Winnie, I would like to ask you: Are you a person who shows up to places on time? I try to because I don't like to wait for people, so I try not to make others wait for me. But now I have another question for you: How、mm-hmm. long can you wait for a friend before you get angry? Hmm. I think <laughs> it depends on what kind of friend. If they're very close to me, <laughs> then it's okay. Then it's probably okay. But usually, for me, I. Think I would say about thirty minutes. That's long. Yeah, I'm kind of patient, but then after thirty minutes, I think it's too long. No, mine is probably fifteen. That's the <laughs> most. <laughs> so, what do you do if you are running late? Oh, I'll let the person know how long I'll be late for. So I might tell them ten minutes before the time we meet. Actually, I think that's what I do too, because it's more polite this、yeah. way. It's more considerate, we can say.、Um, do you make up excuses or you just tell people the、it、truth? Depends. If I just <laughs> left my house, I might say, "Oh, I'm on the way. I'm quite tall. I'm quite tall." Or I'm almost there. Or oh, I'm waiting to come in. But if it's really because of the traffic, then I might just tell them. Is it bad? I think it's actually good. It's better <laughs> to be honest than to trick your friends. But、right. today we're going to read、uh, an article, a few different scenarios, and yeah, let's see if you guys have been through any of them. So let's take a look. What's your excuse? 请在美剧朗读后一起跟着念哦 Let's go. English class starts at one thirty p.m. But Ryan is late. He got to class at two p.m. Ryan, you are late for class again. It's the third time this week. I tried to make it on time. But my pet spider died. You shouldn't make up excuses. Please show up to class on time. Eileen and Audrey are meeting at the coffee shop. Eileen is running late. Finally, you're half an hour late. You mean I had to show up on time? You didn't tell me. I'm going to get you a crown. You're the queen of being late. Andrew needs to go to work at nine a.m. It's already ten a.m.
His boss, Charlie, isn't happy. Andrew, why are you late? Oh, my clock must be slow. It says 9 a.m. Late. Late. The train is late. Why isn't it at the station yet? The train is late. Why isn't it at the station yet? Late. Late. Dana has to work late. So she won't be home for dinner. Dana has to work late, so she won't be home for dinner. Excuse. Excuse. The teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. The teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. Boss, boss. Mina called her boss and said, "I can't come to work. I'm too sick." Mina called her boss and said, "I can't come to work. I'm too sick." Slow, slow. Do you have the right? Time, I think my watch is slow. Do you have the right time? I think my watch is slow. All right. So what we're going to take a look at today is three different scenes or three different things that happen, and let's see if、uh, you've actually been through any of these situations where you might be late. So let's take a look at what these people say. Ah,、uh, 今天我们先文章先看到三个情景，三个你可能会遇到迟到的情景，来看看自己是不是其中之一。I hope I wouldn't be in any of them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, the first one it says,、uh, English class starts at one. Thirty p.m. But Ryan is late. He got to class at two p.m. Oh, oh. 第一个情境是英文课一点半开始 But Ryan is late. 他两点才到 Hmm, that's kind of bad because late is our word power word. It's spelled L-A-T-E. Late. It's an adjective and it means it happens after. The expected time. So, for example, like the scenario says, you're expected or you have to be in class at one thirty, but you got、uh, you get there at two, so you are late.、Um, we can, if you're late, you can always say I'm late or、um, I'm running behind on time. You could say I'm also running late as well. How do we use it in a sentence? We can say the train is late. Why isn't it at the station yet? The train is late. Why isn't it at the station yet? Oh, today's 主题就是迟到，一定要来学一下迟到的英文 late 当形容词。像例句就是这个火车迟到了，迟了，为什么还没有进站呢？另外，如果我会迟到几分钟，也可以用 late。For example, I'll be five minutes late. 或者是太迟了，折扣结束了。The deal is over. It's too late. I think five minutes is still understandable, but Ryan's thirty minutes late. He must be in trouble. Yeah. And especially if you're going to school, you're going to class. So let's see what his teacher says. His teacher is Mr. Wong. He says, "Ryan, you are late for class again. It's the." <gasps> 
third time this week. Again,、mm. 王老师就说 Ryan 你又迟到了。我们可以从 again 看出来 ，this is not his first time. In fact, 这已经是这礼拜第三次了。There are only five days a week, so we can know Ryan is usually late. Yeah, not very good. And Ryan, <laughs> he makes up an excuse. He says, "I try to make it on time, but." My pet spider died. Okay,、mm. yeah, it definitely <laughs> does sound quite funny because not many people have pet spiders. So I'm not sure if we can really believe him or like if we really believe that this is real. However, we're not really sure if it can be true or not. Now he said he tried to make it on time. When you try to make it on time, it means you try to be somewhere on the time that maybe someone asked you to be. So、um, when you're on time, it can, there's another word for this. You can say punctual. It's a little bit difficult.、Mm -hmm. P u n c t u a l, punctual. Ryan 这时候就说：“哦，我很努力，想要准时。哎 ，you make it to somewhere 表示你抵达到某处 ，and make it on time 就是准时到达某处。但是他的宠物一只一只蜘蛛死掉了。Hmm, I'm not sure. I believe him though. Yeah, me too. All right. So before we look further into our article, let's first take a look at our magic box. Magic box.” 照亮点。传说中有一支影片，看过的人七天后都会出代机。哎呀，但是呢，用听的就没关系了啦。我就是全球恐怖女王贞子。话说呢，我最近没拍片，每天呢都在吃吃喝喝。哎，想不胖都难，就让我想到呢，以前有一些健康管理的业者打出的口号咯 y o u can make it。你可以瘦的，你要相信你自己。Make 这个动词呢，就是制作的意思咯。例如呢 ，make a cake， 做一个蛋糕。但是呢，刚刚说 you can make it， you can make it。OK， 你可以做是做什么东西呢？好抽象啊！啊，原来呢，这时候呢，它就不翻译为制作，而是翻译为可以完成、可以成功的例子咯。我们再举一个例子哦，刚刚说呢，看过影片七天后会发生奇怪的事情，哎，但是呢，有人跟我说，怎么过了两个礼拜都还没事啊？你怎么还没来 ？OK， I tried to make it on time， but I was too busy。我也很想准时啊，但是呢，我太忙了啦。I tried to make it on time， but I was too busy。我很想准时，但是我太忙啦！哎，拜托，你以为有多少人看过影片？我实在没空，七天就去找你啦。这里呢 ，make it 就是赶上的意思。OK， 我试着赶上，试着在时间到的时候完成，是这样的意思咯。这个 make 是不是很正面，很有能量呢？但是呢 ，make 加上 up 就不是这个意思咯。注意到 make up， 如果这两个字是连在一起的，它呢就表示我们的化妆。如果分开呢 ？Make up, OK。举个例子咯，很多作者、很多记者呢，都觉得我提供七天到府的服务都是假的。OK， they think I am making the whole thing up。他们觉得呢，我在编造整个故事。They think I am making the whole thing up。OK， make things up 就是呢，凭空捏造，捏造什么东西呢？一个谎言或是一个故事。所以呢，一样是 make 就有好多不同的意思哦，有好也有坏。加油，你可以记起来的哦。You can make it. All right, welcome back. Let's first take a look at what Mr. Wong says after Ryan told us that his pet spider died. <laughs> so Mr. Wong says, "You shouldn't make up excuses. Please show up to class on time." So, so the he teacher doesn't, doesn't believe him. No,、nope, I wouldn't believe him too. <laughs> Now, when you show up somewhere, it means just to sh、uh, to appear somewhere. So you can show up to dinner means you appear to dinner. You can show up. To the movies or show up to school. Wang 老师其实不想听这么多了，他就说 ，Please show up on time， 请准时出现。所以我们看到两个 up 的片语。刚刚 Tiffany 老师有解释 ，show up 就是出现，抵达 to arrive， 比如赴晚餐的约啊，或者是赴电影的约。所以王老师就是说 ，show up to class， 准时来上课。另外，我们看到 make up，make up 就更复杂，其实有很多意思。在这里就是指编造 ，for example，make up a story。那在这里呢？
呢，就是 make up excuses. What's an excuse? Ah,、uh, very good question. It's also a word power word. Excuse is spelled E X C U S E. Excuse. It's a noun, and it's a reason you give to someone to explain maybe a mistake that you made, or maybe explain a bad behavior. Now, sometimes there really there really is a reason to why you might be late or why you might did something wrong. But then, in order to not get in trouble, it's best not to.、Uh, you might make some silly excuses to get out of the trouble. So, excuses to kind of explain, okay, why did I do this, or why did I not go to school, things like that. Let's take a look at our word power sentence.、Uh, we can say the teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. The teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. 嗯，这里呢，我们看到，呃，我们看到 excuse 这个名词，它就是借口。你可以编造一个借口 ，make up an excuse， 或者是 make excuses for something， 比如不想去派对，也可能就是要找一个借口 ，make excuses for not going to the party。但如果有人的借口真的太烂，像是天分老师可能说，呃，狗狗吃掉了作业啊，或者是，呃，你可以说 what a silly excuse， 或者 what a Poor excuse. 我们看到例句啊，就是最一般的用法、啊，就是呃，老师不相信 Andy 忘记写作业的借口。Oh, actually, that's a really good one. Sometimes, when、uh, you forget to do your homework, some people might make up a silly excuse and they say, "Oh, my dog yeah, ate my homework." That's silly. That is a very silly <laughs> excuse. Okay, so let's take a look at our second scenario. Okay, so it says Eileen and Audrey are meeting at the coffee shop. Eileen is running late. Okay, so remember we talked about late. Before being not being here on time, late has a different meaning, but we'll take a look at it later. 好，再来我们另一个情境是 Eileen 跟 Audrey， 他们是在咖啡店碰面，但是当然就是有人迟到啦。嗯、mm. ，So a while ago we learned that late means to not show up to somewhere on time. Here in this sentence, Eileen is running late. The late here is just used as an adverb, and it's also spelled L A T E late. Okay, it also means the same thing as Again, when you're not at a place or at a at the time expected, that's called being late. So, for example, we can say she went to work late. They arrived too late for breakfast. I like to get up late.、Mm -hmm. Okay, we have an example sentence. We say Dana has to work late, so she won't be home for dinner. Dana has to work late, so she won't be home for dinner. 这里啊，我们有看到 late 这个字，不过啊，我们看到它是放在动词的后面，所以 late 也有当副词的用法。常常看到的用法就像这里就 running late 迟到了，或者是 work late， 像例句说的，上班要到很晚，就是加班的意思啦。那 get up late 就是晚起床，所以 late 也可以放在动词的后面，只做什么事情晚了。Yep， and then Audrey says， finally， you're half an hour late。Finally, Andre、mm. just wrote like finally, just 终于 Ah,、oh, I would leave thirty minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of patience for that. But Andre <laughs> says, finally, you're half an hour late. This person must be her really good friend. Eileen says, "You mean I had to show up on time? You didn't tell me." Hmm. This person sounds kind of familiar. Does it remind you of anyone you know? No. It's a common sense to be on time. 准时赴约应该是常识吧 You can be late, but you need to feel sorry. Do you have any friends like that? Hmm. <laughs> I do have a few friends like that. So、uh. I have to be tricky, and I have to. Give them an earlier time to meet me because I know they will be late. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> yeah. So Audrey says,、um, "I'm going to get you a crown. You're the queen of being late. A crown is an object, a thing that maybe kings or queens wear. It's usually round. It fits on your head, and they usually make it out of really fancy things like、yeah. gold, and they decorate it with a lot of beautiful jewels." 
，所以 Audrey 真的脾气太好了，他只是语气比较酸啦。他就说：“嗯，我要给你一个皇冠 ，a crown。为什么还要给他皇冠呢？因为他根本就是迟到大王哦，在这里应该是迟到女王。Hopefully, Eileen feels bad about this instead of feeling happy about being a queen. I think she likes being a queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our last scenario.、It、says Andrew needs to go to work at 9 a.m. It's already 10 a.m. <gasps> His boss Charlie isn't happy. No, 第一个情境是在学校，第二个是朋友间相约迟到。再来，我们看到第三个情境就是工作上的。文章说 ，An Andrew 应该是九点上班，但是已经十点了。哦哦，这样老板一定会讲话吧 ？Yeah, the boss will be very unhappy. And boss is our word power word. It's spelled B O S S. Boss, it's a noun and it means a person in charge of a company or business, and they tell other people what to do. So, for example, Mark Zuckerberg is the boss of Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Or Bill Gates is the boss of Microsoft. Okay, you can also say I am my own boss, meaning <laughs> that I am in charge of myself in my work. Okay, so how do we use it in a sentence? Let's take a look. We can say Mina called her boss and said. I can't come to work. I'm too sick. Mina called her boss and said, "I can't come to work. I'm too sick." 老板这个字非常简单啦，就是 boss 四个字母，不一定是要一家副公司的负责人负责人才可以用这个字啦。只要是你的主管啊，管理的人都可以称他们为 my boss。比如像例句就是 Mina 打给老板，然后他说：“哦，我没办法工作，我很不舒服。”另外，有些男生如果赴约的时候会开玩笑说：“哦、oh, ，I have to ask my boss about it。”其实不是真的得问他们老板啦，而是要问自己的老婆或是女朋友。意思就是说得经过。女生的同意啦 ，Yeah, we are the boss. We are the boss, and women are usually always right. <laughs> All right, so let's see what、uh, what his boss Charlie says. Charlie says, Andrew, why are you late? Oh, oh, 老板说话了。他问 Andrew， 你到底为什么迟到呢 ？That sounds scary. And Andrew says, Oh. My clock must be slow. It says 9 a.m. Hmm. Andrew's 的理由是什么呢？他说，嗯，我的时钟一定是慢了，因为明明十点，可是他的时钟却说还九点而已。A poor excuse, you think? A very poor excuse. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our last word, prior word. We see the word slow. S L O W slow. It's an adjective and it means not moving fast. So, for example, driving ten miles per hour is very slow. But driving a hundred miles per hour is very fast. Or we have an animal that moves very slow. Ah,、uh, a sloth moves very slow. Right. Okay. Let's take a look at our sample sentence. We can say, "Do you have the right time? I think my watch is slow. Do you have the right time? I think my watch is slow." 走得很慢就是 slow， 相反就是 fast 喽。像时钟慢了，我们可以说 this clock is an hour slow， 慢了一个小时。或是大家有没有看这个动物方程式里面的树懒 ？They are slow。最可怕就是遇到 the computer or the internet is slow。This would drive everyone crazy。但是时钟慢了一小时，听起来这借口好像也有点牵强哎。是还有时差吗 ？The whole island has the same time zone. Yeah, very poor excuse from Andrew. <laughs> All right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with our review time. <laughs> Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。All right, so let's play a game.、Um, we will say the definition,、mm -hmm. and you guys try to guess which word power word this is. All right, so should I start? Sure, I'll、okay. guess. All right, so this word means that you are in charge of a company. <sighs> oh, we all have this when we we all have this person when we are at work. Oh, and we probably don't like them. Probably not. <laughs> Who boss, is this person? We don't like our yeah, boss. That's right, boss. 老板对不对？可能大部分人都不太喜欢老板 ，unless they're very nice. Right. All right. So, do you want to try one? Uh, okay. If um something moves very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're talking about movement, I think I can guess what this one oh, is. Oh, you already know? Maybe is it late? Nope. 
Okay, is it slow? Yeah. Ah, because it's just like my favorite animal, the sloth. It's very slow. <laughs> That's your favorite animal. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, so we hope you guys enjoy these scenarios. Hopefully, you're not one of these people who are late. But no. stick to day two to read more about how we can change this habit of being late. For now, I'm Tiffany, and I'm Winnie. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. What's your excuse? English class starts at 1:30 p.m., but Ryan is late. He got to class at 2 p.m. Ryan, you are late for class again. It's the third time this week. I tried to make it on time, but my pet spider died. You shouldn't make up excuses. Please show up to class on time. Eileen and Audrey are meeting at the coffee shop. Eileen is running late. Finally, you're half an hour late. You mean I had to show up on time? You didn't tell me. I'm going to get you a crown. You're the queen of being late. Andrew needs to go to work at 9 a.m. It's already 10 a.m. His boss, Charlie, isn't happy. Andrew, why are you late? Oh, my clock must be slow. It says 9 a.m. Late. Late. The train is. Late. Why isn't it at the station yet? The train is late. Why isn't it at the station yet? Late. Late. Dana has to work late, so she won't be home for dinner. Dana has to work late, so she won't be home for dinner. Excuse. Excuse. The teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. The teacher didn't believe Andy's excuse for forgetting his homework. Boss. Boss. Mina called her boss and said. I can't come to work. I'm too sick. Mina called her boss and said, "I can't come to work. I'm too sick." Slow. Slow. Do you have the right time? I think my watch is slow. Do you have the right time? I think my watch is slow.